Oh well, we're having a good time, aren't we? <laughs> Good morning everybody. I know it's been about probably over a week since I've uploaded and uh, there's been a few reasons. One of them is not related to this video but I'll probably get onto that after I do this video. Some of you are not going to like it. I know I'm going to get cold but am I scared? <laughs> not scared. If you've got me on Instagram you'll know what I'm probably talking about. If you don't, probably most of you don't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's just get on with this video. So, we're in the mini and the last thing I did with the Mini was we rebuilt the engine. Rebuilt the engine, some people have said, but I fucking did, alright? So, it's still actually running tap water. I plan to have tap water in it for a day, because it's obviously not good to put tap water through your engine, because it's got a load of like iron and a load of chemicals in it and shit. So it's not good for the metals in the engine and that. But anyway, it's been here for about a month. Uh, so we've actually finally got some coolant and we're actually gonna empty the water that's in there and put the coolant in. Now if you look behind me as well, you can actually see a bucket seat. We got a bucket seat out of the IS200. Yes, I sold the IS200. I'm pretty sure I said that. There are not a lot of people that message me saying where's the IS200, it's sold, gone. Uh, so we're gonna put that bucket seat in as well. And we're gonna finally clean it. Because if you look down here, I've still got all the shit from the previous owner. Right, here is the Mini, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. Oh my god, look how horrible the wheel is. I've literally never even cleaned it yet. Look how horrible the wheel is. We're going to first do the coolant change because it is the most important thing. And it's probably going to take the longest. The coolant on these are a fucking pain. It takes so long to just drip through and bleed. It's, it's literally probably the most annoying thing I've ever done coolant on. So let's just crack on. It is just water in it, so not going to be scared. Just going to let it out on the floor. I hope that it is just water in there. Pretty sure it is. Maybe might have had some. Right now, the reason it took so long, I actually filled up this like quite high, and I was like trying to like do it with my hand, and it was so tight. So I'm guessing I put it quite tight, and it just pressurized so much because obviously it is over the max at the minute. That I was just like, Ugh! and obviously it was way too much effort walking 20 meters to get a uh, to get a, 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 some grips. Obviously, it was way too much effort. So it took me two weeks to do that, and I come back out, and I was like, yes, it's kept water. Now we can do it. So now we're gonna do it. Oh, it's such a Fucking, it literally is so annoying that you can't just drain it from the radiator. All the way down here, you won't be even be able to see it because I can't even see it. Well, you can actually see the clip there, but the prongs are on the other side. <sighs> I really don't like doing this because I don't really like this jack. Oh, God, what a joke, mate. Oh. 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 I can see where my hand needs to be, but I'm like, oh. mm, damn, baby. <laughs> But yeah, now we can top it up with coolant, which takes fucking ages. That's why I got the bucket seat. Found a funnel, and by funnel I mean end of a paint gun. If it works, it works, right? We got some uh, really expensive stuff from Euro know, Car Pass. And I think it's the right one. Very rare that car has blue coolant, but apparently this one does. So let's top it up. Now this car takes 5.4, I bought 5 litres. You know, mostly because there's some water stays in the bottom of the engine, but mostly because I'm a cheap cunt. Now we just do the very long process of topping it up. So we're going to start taking the seat out. We're going to start removing the seat, but I think, first of all, actually no, we're going to take the seat out. Because I need to remove all the shit. The worst thing about it is all the dirt and the shit in the back and like there. That's, that's disgusting. So we're going to take the back seats out today and we're going to put the bucket seat in that side. Hopefully it's easy. What do you mean? It's going to do its job. So, it's the most uncomfiest bucket seat ever. But as I said, it's going to do its fucking job, so. Right, now the best thing about the minis, this is why I got one, right? Was because when we had the track car giveaways one, you, you could just put the bucket seat like straight to the floor. There's no need to piss them out of rails. You, you could just put the bucket seat like straight to the floor. There's no need to piss them out of rails. Uh, it, and, and it's like they just bolt straight to the floor because the floor's flat in the minis. Come here, come here. We've got a bolt here. Looks like a Torx 35. Uh, but yeah, it's just flat. From what I remember anyway, hopefully it's the same. In, that, in the one that I had, it was, well, the one that TCG had, it was just like flat to the floor. And it creates like such a good driving experience. It's like being in a VXR, like I love Astro VXRs, how they sit so low. Shout out to all the Astro boys, even though I fucking hate box holes. Mate, this is some long ass bolt, definitely not some wet ass bolt. Wait, where the fuck are we doing manual labor? Look at Eddie back here. You've not met Eddie, have you? Fucking Eddie's a gangster, so watch this. <laughs> Look at him. He's the definition of not fucking scared, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> but I, I can't I can't see the front one. I can't see. Put that off. 
office. Mm. Now I have to transfer this one over. Sadly, the belt is not clicking to that one, so we're going to transfer this over. Hopefully, I don't have to transfer like all of it. We'll figure it out, fuck it. Right, two things. We can actually just put the tensioner on there. Hopefully, it fits. Uh, and coolant is coming out of there, but it's still water, so. Coolant is coming out of the bleed nipple, but it is just still water at the minute, so it's still pushing out some of the water, which is good. So I'm going to wait till that's actually blue before I put the thing back on. This stuff, the IS200, the seatbelt, that is a homemade washer that I made. <laughs> if it works, it works. Fucking leave me alone, all right? <coughs> we need to take this off the mini and just hopefully that fits. I'm going to need a long bolt. So first bolt we found, the 13 mil. Pretty sure it's a high tensile one as well. So. That's in there. Big washer on. Right, let's bang her in. So, I don't, not entirely sure what the yellow one is. I'll have to have a look, see, i have to follow the, uh, what? That's our seat belt. And then that, they should bolt straight to there. Hopefully they match up. So that's chucking out a little bit of water and like mostly blue now, so that's good. So we're going to turn the engine off quick. Right, what I need to do with this seat is, it's pretty much almost going in. I just need to drill these holes a little bit bigger. So luckily I've got the drill in the back. Just to drill them holes a bit bigger. <laughs> Doing big things here, two things at once. My guy, Juzzy Smith. No one knows what I'm talking about, but I do. I'm going to prove the theory to you ladies that with a bit of practice, a man could do six things at once. <laughs> Right, this seat's not going on today. The, the bolt holes are too far over. So I can, I've can i drilled and I've managed to do it where you can get the bolts in. But it's just too... So the bolt's going in there now. But you get to a certain point, you just can't screw it in. Because this bracket is too in the way. So see there? You can, you can see we'll break one, but it's got a tool on basically. So you won't be able to tighten it. Uh, and then look at the back here. I'm gonna have to drill another hole for the back. Um, so I'm gonna need the grind. I'm gonna need Gordon and the grind to come and get all that. I'm just gonna have to just cut that fucking bracket off like there. Boom, boom. And then I can get a tool in the end bit. And then I'm gonna have to, I don't know how I'm even gonna do that one, to be honest. Uh, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna see if I can get some like actual Mini Cooper ones. Uh, but yeah, that's annoying. Well, at least we've done the coolant today. Isn't it great when? Spend half a day doing something you're excited about, and then you gotta play it all back to fucking standard because you want a fucking German car. Bit loud, right? It's only games. Let's me thinking. You know what? I bet minis aren't actually that bad. Sitting in mini ones. Oh my god, he's bought straight to the floor. Look how easy that is. So you know, you know what? I go and buy a mini, right? Spend. Wasn't dirt cheap. Not gonna lie, it was alright. It, it was cheap, but you know, it was a good price. So I get home. A gasket goes as soon as I get home. Great. Then I got off to a fucking engine rebuild. Sick. So I think, you know what, Lee, you've done the hardest work now. You know that it's easy to put a seat in. You know, that's alright. So don't just leave the coolant. But whatever. Come through something easy. I end up fucking every, putting everything back to fucking standard. Oh well, we're having a good time, aren't we? <laughs> I'm a little bit annoyed to be fair. Book seat won't go in, but. I'm going to have to do a bit of fabrication to be fair with you because that's not going to work. Um, and I still don't know how I'm going to get the back the back ones in without because I can't exactly grind it all off. Might see if there's like some... Um, see what the mini guy's got to say. I'm hungry. At least it's on the main thing now which is get all that water out of the engine. But yeah. But I thought we'd have the bucket seat in today but that'll be the next one guys. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully. Too hungry. Got another video coming out about the thing that I mentioned earlier about you won't really like it, but it's all happening, it's all happening, you know? It's cool, we're all sweet. See you later.